So do you have to be a good artist in order to be a good artist? So what I mean by that is do you have to be good at art or painting or sculpting or whatever your creative field might be? Do you actually have to be good technically at that in order to be a good artist? Well, I would say it massively helps, but no. It's so easy to get caught up in the skills that we use in order to be creative that we kind of forget the goal is actually to be creative. So we're too busy learning how to draw, learning how to paint, learning how to use the software before we actually think about what we're trying to create. And I would say that without creative thinking and creative thought, the tools and the art is kind of meaningless. And I think this is even more relevant now, as we have machine learning, AI and so forth, and computers are really catching up with artists, at what point will they overtake artists and become more creative than we are? It's certainly the case that they will start producing realistic looking objects and game assets and drawings or whatever it might be much better than a human artist can and that's not too far away now. What's further away are those creative ideas and those story and those elements that make us think oh wow that's really clever. I'm not saying they won't be able to do that in the future but I think that's further away. So in a previous episode I talked about a survey and we had to look at the artwork and decide whether it was a photo or someone had designed it using CG. And we saw some amazing artists on there who were able to mimic reality really well. And there's an awful lot of skill there to try and replicate reality and make it look indistinguishable from a photograph. And I'm by no means saying that those people aren't artists, they're excellent artists. But what I am saying is sometimes we get so focused, particularly as 3D artists, about making things realistic and making them seem more real. And we think a lot about the techniques to get there and what sort of aspects of the program can I use here, what modifiers, what textures and so forth. But often we forget to be creative. Some of the best art out there is so simple, yet it really draws your eye and you think, ah, oh, that's so clever, I wish I'd thought of that. So let's take a look at some people's art and think about the creativity versus the technical skill. So okay so I'm just doing a screen capture of this stuff but here for example we've got a great piece by Huancho Abed perhaps I'm not really sure I'm sorry if I always pronounce people's names wrong but look at this this is absolutely brilliant it's quite a simple idea I mean it's it's quite complex technically yes but it's a simple idea and do you need to be an artist in order to draw something like this no but there's a certain creativity which is really clever and it just makes it fantastic. Here's another sort of weird potato man thing. And this one's by Hammer, the magical lump of coal it's called. And it's got a sort of pixel art idea to it. Some of my students really love pixel art. I think because again, it's the simplicity, but you can be really creative. You can get your ideas down really quickly and you don't need that much skill. You just need to be quite methodical with it in a way. And it's this sort of creativity that's great fun. Here's another one. It's more complex. It's by Funk FZ. But this sort of simplistic pixel art style and really sort of blocky, I can't imagine there's many even beginner blender artists that couldn't produce something like this. There is a certain complexity in the way it's painted, but once you get that idea across, producing these things is really simple and then it's just your creativity that's your limitations. Now I'm across in Pinterest and there's some fantastic work. This is a low poly piece, but it's the idea that really makes it something. In fact, I often give a low poly space challenge to my students and some find images like this and they copy them and they don't find it too difficult to copy, but of course they're just copying the idea so there's no real creativity in a sense. But it goes to show you don't need to be good technically in order to come up with this. You need to be good creatively. Here's another space scene, one with a similar idea. But again, they've got the details just right. And it really gives it a vibrant look. Here's another sort of blocky, almost Minecrafty, pixely type image. Again, it's the simplicity, but looking at the color palette and the positioning, it all just works. So again, simple ideas brought together in such a brilliant way and a brilliant composition. And that's what we should be working on as artists, our creativity, our understanding of color, looking at things closely, breaking them down. And at that point, if you get to be a really creative person and you've got the technical skills, then you're a really brilliant artist in my opinion. So this person here has got the skills of breaking things down and giving them detail, but he's clearly an artist as well to choose a brilliant color palette like this and come up with these ideas. It's just exceptional. Sorry I couldn't find higher resolution images of these, but it's just to give you a basic idea of what I mean. 
So you can see from that that the creativity has overtaken the technical skills in some ways. Not that you don't need any technical skills, that's kind of impossible to work with the programs and so forth, but there's limited skill needed but loads of creativity and that makes an excellent art piece. So how can you go out and get those creative ideas? Well, as I've said previously, you've got to actually get out there, exploring places, exploring different things, trying things out. I think life can be so much more vibrant if you're really focusing and looking and trying to see what's different about something, see what makes something tick. Really look at things closely, break them down and think, how is that put together? And can I distort that and make it look funny or weird or cute or stylized in any way? I think low poly work is excellent for this, for developing your creativity and being able to take an object, break it down into its minute elements and then think about how you can simplify that and make it stylized. And there's loads of low poly work out there but some just look so amazing and that's the real artistic creative skill to get there. One of the main reasons I'm talking about this is I'm thinking about the current competition on the Discord server. Yes, I'm trying to get people across there again. And the theme for this is heroes and villains and so far we've not had that many submissions. And I think the reason for that is it seems quite a hard topic because immediately we think of uh, these amazing superhero characters that we've seen in Disney or Marvel films and all sorts. And they're always amazing artwork, detailed, well sculpted. I recently watched The Incredibles 2 and that was amazing. That was just brilliant artwork, absolutely loved it. And that new animated Spider-Man looks absolutely fantastic. So I think that's put some people off because it's quite a hard task and most people think about that sort of high poly, high detail. But actually, could we do some low poly stuff? I've seen some amazingly cool little low poly characters that are really boxy, but the color palette's brilliant, the size, the distribution, the proportions, they all work together to make a really clever piece. And that's what I would rather people focused on, rather than the technical skill, focus on that creativity. So if you haven't already, get across to the Discord server, join in the chat there, tell us about yourself, join in the competition, make it simple but be creative, and you can get your picture on the wall if you are successful as the competition winner. Keep it fun, keep it simple, and I'll probably choose the most simplest ideas but the most creative. That's not to say I'm gonna dismiss anybody that's put loads of effort in, of course, but the creativity is key. Okay, so I hope to chat to you soon, and thanks for watching.